back to my channel today as you can tell by the title we are back with another haul now i'm very excited about this one because this is my first primark haul in about i don't know six months maybe less obviously as you guys know we've all been in lockdown so shops haven't really been open but now they're starting to slowly open and primark is one of the shops that are now open so i took a trip i am actually working with primark on this video which is just mind-blowing to me sorry what i am working with primark one of my first videos that I used to love to do were Primark calls. I was always like, I need to go to Primark and where I live, there is no Primarks. So I'd literally drag cotton to like Southampton or Portsmouth or if we were in Brighton or something, I'd make sure we'd go to Primark just so I could bring you guys a Primark call. Now that was old school and now here I am working with them. So beyond grateful to you guys and to Primark for wanting to work with me and for you guys to obviously support me. But yeah, without further ado, I think we should just get into the video. This is not going to be any different to a normal Primark call. I've literally just been to Primark, picked up some bits, but yeah, I'm very excited. So we actually had three bags, but I've just put them into two bags because I've actually been through them all. I have such my lip balm, this is so cute. But yeah, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen my post already because I'm working with them on Instagram as well. Um, I'll insert the photos throughout the video as well when I'm going through the items of clothing because I had to do like a festival theme. And yeah, it was really fun because they have some great bits in Primark at the moment for that sort of boho festival style, which I love. So it's also very beachy and summery and it's just very wearable which is why i picked up quite a lot from that sort of section so as you guys know if you follow my channel i do actually have a little son he is 10 months old so i only picked up a couple of bits i will show you just in case you want to see them but i'll do them at the end just in case you're not interested but i literally picked up like two things so let's get into the haul let's show you what i've got if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe down below and i will also put my instagram on the screen as well because i post a lot more on instagram than i do over here and obviously like i said i've already posted some content in these clothes over there anyway so first thing i'm going to start off with is a pair of shorts now i picked up three pairs of shorts in this haul because i couldn't decide on which ones i liked and they're actually all different styles so it doesn't matter i'm always looking for some shorts just to throw on and go like even with just a bodysuit like this um so these are the first pair i picked up so these are kind of more of that like safari sort of vibe do you know what i mean they're covered in fluff because I have a fluffy blanket, which is actually from Primark, and it just gets everywhere. But yeah, I literally love these. They are so cool. I actually paired it with just like a um, a lacy sort of embroidered top. I'll insert the picture here so you can see. I loved how that looked together. I'm very like a neutrals person. I dress pretty much all in neutrals. So yeah, I really, really like these. I love the shape of them. I love the style. I just think they're kind of like the cargo style, which I think is quite cool. And if you're not like a really girly girl, they're a nice option to go for. These I got in a size 10, and... Yeah, they fit me lovely. I love them. I'm thinking maybe just to bash out all the shorts at once. So these are the next style of short I picked up. These are the mum style ones, which I also got in a size 10 because a good trick is, because I don't like shorts, I don't like my bum hanging out of shorts. A good trick is to oversize your shorts, so size up maybe, and then you can always just cinch in your waist. Um, Cause I prefer to have like a baggier short look. So I got these, like I said, in a size 10. I haven't actually tried these ones on yet, so I don't know how they fit. But I have a beautiful belt that I picked up in this haul to show you guys, which would look unreal with these. I love this wash of denim. They look really comfortable. They were very affordable as well. They are £10. But yeah, I love this so much. I love these. I love the style. I love the shape. And I'm excited to see what they look like on. Again, just with a body soap like this, just to chuck on, would look really cool. I love this wash of denim. It's probably one of my favourites. I like the vintage. It's just quite vintage, you know? And then these are the last pair of shorts I picked up. These are obviously like a black wash denim. I love like the frayed edges of these. As you can see, they do look quite short. But like I said, if you size up, then they don't tend to come up as short. I had them on the other day and my bum cheeks weren't hanging out. So that is not what I'm going for. So it's great that they don't do that. So that's a bonus, but I literally love these. I love the shape of them, I love the style. Obviously all three pairs of these shorts are different styles, so they do have like a whole variety of shorts and stuff. But yeah, I thought I'd pick up all three just to show you guys what is in store at the moment. And I love the like rips. I just love the edginess of these ones. I think they're so cool and they'd be easy. The idea I've got in my head is just like with a white bodysuit, a checkered shirt, some high top converse, and I think that would look really, really cool. So you can just switch up your style between shorts, which I love. Okay, next thing I picked up is this pink puff sleeved top. You may have seen this on my Instagram already. I actually paired it with those um, grey black denim wash shorts. I think they look really, really nice together. I like I like to wear 
um, black and pink together because I don't like, I mean, I do like to wear them with like that light wash of denim as well, the blue, but sometimes I think it can look very summery. So when I wear the gray black ones, it kind of tones it down. Um, but yeah, I love this style of top. I actually picked it up in white as well. So I'll show you that too. It looked really, really nice on the body as well. It just looks, it looks so expensive. Like it looks like something you'd pick up in Zara and it was only, oh, eight pound. And I actually picked this up in an extra small because they looked quite big, like sizing wise, they looked quite big. So they did have a rot, like a variety of sizes. I think they even had an extra, extra small. Um, so that's good because they used to only have like small, medium, large in Primark. So it's good that they've expanded the size range. But I love this whole vibe. I love it. I love pink at the moment as well. I don't know what it is, but I'm going through a phase of pink. So next up, I saw this. I was like, I cannot not get this it's so cute the only thing is it's slightly too big for me because i did pick it up in a medium because if you go to primark you know sizes sell out so quickly and that was my issue but i just thought it was so cute i could not get it and it has a tie in the middle so you can kind of tie it up tighter anyway my vision was obviously this is obviously like my festival vibe i just thought it was so cute and i'd love to wear something like this to a festival but also like um fingers crossed i can go to ibiza <laughs> Um, I don't want to jinx anything, but also like beach days. I have beaches near where I live. I live on the Isle of Wight, so we're surrounded by loads of beaches. Just like a little beach day, this thrown on top of a bikini. Um, and it also comes with a matching skirt. Now, again, this is slightly too big because I had to get it in a medium again. But it just, it's not too tight, which I love because I have been wearing this and it, it looks fine on. Also, like I said, I picked up a really nice belt, which I also paired with this, and it just looks so good. Um, but yeah, it's just like this embroidery. I know there's a name for this, but I can't think of what it is. But yeah, I literally love it. It's so nice. The only thing is, I will say it's slightly see-through, but for what I'm wanting to wear it for, for like the beach days, beach evenings, you know, summer parties, just wear a swim costume underneath, swimming like bikini underneath, I think it's absolutely fine. Um, the top, the top isn't as bad, um, but this is a little outfit, it's just so cute. And like I said, I'm hoping to wear it on a holiday if we can make it there. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Let's all pray. Let's all send positive vibes, manifest that we can still make a holiday in September. So next up is the white version of that pink puff sleeve top. I literally love this so much. Again, the white is slightly see-through, but if you wear like a bra or something underneath, it's fine. And obviously you can't see the straps because of the puff sleeves. They just sit on your shoulder. Um, but yeah, not much to say other than the fact that I really love this and things like this are so easy to like make a basic outfit just look a little bit nicer because I always find puff sleeves really add something to an outfit. But I would just pair this with literally anything. Shorts, jeans, just super easy, super simple, and it looks really, really good. Again, I got this one in an extra small, and I'm usually a size 8 to 10, but I sized down on this, so this extra small is size 6 to 8, because I just want it to be a little bit fitted, you know? Speaking of bodysuits, last time I went to Primark, actually, the last time I went to Primark was literally the week before we went into lockdown, um, because we went away, didn't we? And I picked up the black version of this. Obviously, these are a Zara dupe. So is this one I'm wearing. This isn't actually from Primark, but, um, but the Zara dupes are in full swing. Zara used to do a bodysuit of this colour. I don't think they sell it anymore. It was just like the sage green and it's so hard to find anywhere. Luckily, I actually have it. Um, but I love this khaki colour. I just think it's so nice. These bodysuits are so easy to pair with everything. Like I was saying throughout with the shorts and stuff, I just pair it with a bodysuit like this. And this is pretty much the same. It's not as thick as the Zara ones, but it's absolutely fine. Like it's, yeah, it's just normal. So I picked this up in a size small, which is a 10. Okay, I've mentioned this belt a couple of times now, but how could I not? It's literally so, so nice. It's just like a roped detail. I've seen so many of these belts everywhere. And this is one thing Primark is starting to do really well. They're literally like duping things, which is obviously amazing because it's going to be cheaper. Um, but it's just this lovely belt. It's like rope. It's like a really nice cream colour. And these are my vibes for summer. Like a full neutral outfit. Like a linen shirt tucked in some linen shorts with this belt around the middle in like that whole nudie sort of oatmeal cream color it's just such a vibe i'm obsessed um so yeah i literally love this i picked this up in a small the good thing about this belt is that there's not any holes because it can just sit wherever through the um the plaits so that's unreal it's so good because you don't have to be punching holes in your belt if they're too big 
so yeah i love this and again it's so it's so good to pair with so many different outfits and just make it look a little bit more beachy a little bit more rustic which is my style i love okay so i'm gonna show you guys this next now this is actually a little bit of a raunchy piece however i don't plan to wear this well much to connor's disappointment i didn't pick it up for that reason i picked this up to pair like underneath like an oversized shirt with some shorts i just think this would look really nice i don't think it's too like in your face the only thing is i did actually have to size up to a 34 when i'm normally a 32 because i didn't have a 32c i don't know i just think it's quite nice and quite pretty and it's not really like obvious that it's underwear obviously with an oversized shirt over the top it would look really really nice as well i love the whole pattern and the style but you can also obviously wear it for those kind of things if you wanted to look nice to feel good and yeah it was 14 pound which i think is a really good price because things like this can be so expensive um and I love it. I can't wait to try this one actually because I haven't even tried it on yet. But yeah, I'm obsessed. Okay, so next up I just picked up this mesh top which I think, like, even that bodysuit would look really cute but I'm thinking just like a lace bralette underneath would look really, really nice. Um, again, this whole like boho festival summer beachy vibe, I love it. Like the whole picnic in a field these are the vibes i'm getting which i love i feel like they're very in this summer um this was six pounds and again i got it in an extra small i just think it would look really cute with some shorts i'm saying shorts but you can obviously wear it with whatever you wanted skirts jeans but i feel like shorts are going to be like my go-to at the minute where it's a little bit warmer but i love this i love the pattern and obviously it's got the little puff sleeves and the pattern on the fabric is just some little flowers and i love it i just think it's super cute super cute super me and I feel like I'm just heading down that whole boho vibe. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm like a mum now. I'm dressing like a mum. <laughs> Please let me know if that's the case. I'm sorry if I am. <laughs> okay, this next top is not going to back me on that. Because this is definitely like mum vibe. But I feel like if you dress this right, it can look so chic and so cool. I see so many girls on Instagram wearing things like this. And I think, oh my god, they look so good. And I paired it with those nude shorts. Well, like the tan shorts that I showed you at the start with that belt. And it looked really nice like so it's kind of just like this obviously these buttons all do up it's kind of i don't know how what this like style of top is called because i never really opt to buy it is it like i don't even want to say the word that i think it is because when i say what i think it is it just literally reminds me of a mum or something my nan would wear you know like a tunic <laughs> that might not be the right word but um i don't know i just love it I a blouse but even that is just so like <laughs> but like i said i think you can style these to look really really nice really cool um i just thought with like my little louis vuitton bag it would look really nice with some denim shorts some mum shorts some you can even wear trainers but i would probably go for some sandals i have some rope sandals that are kind of like the same sort of style as that belt and i think that would look really cool um, and it's got some puff sleeves. I just think it looks, it's one of those pieces that looks so much better on than it does off. But when I saw it, I just, I just had visions. So hopefully you guys trust my visions and yeah, I'll insert the photo that I had it in anyway. So you can see what it looks like. Um, but yeah, I love it. I think it's so cute. It's so nice. Something I wouldn't usually pick up, but I feel like that would be perfect for like a family dinner as well, you know? Or if you're going out with your boyfriend's family, that is just... Oh yay! I got some new socks. I completely forgot. I always looking for socks, um, so this is very handy because I'm going to need some today. Two pound for seven pairs. So next up, I actually picked. Oh, I actually got some other sandals, which I'll show you in a sec. I keep forgetting. I've started like unpacking my bag and wearing some stuff, so they're like all around the house. Um, but I picked up these, which I thought were just. I don't really wear heels, and I'm obviously pubs and clubs and is it clubs opening this week? Mm. I don't know pubs bars whatever reopening this weekend so i feel like it's going to be some time to go out for a summer evening and i feel like these would be perfect just for some jeans jeans and a nice top and then some like cute little summer sandals obviously they're in this really nice little lemon color and they're like heeled but not like a high heel so when i last went out which was just before lockdown i wore heels and i literally had to get a piggyback from connor home because i could not walk because I can't walk in hills, basically. I just can't do it. Actually, to be fair, before I even made it to the club, I couldn't walk. So, yeah. I have to stick to things like this because I'm just incapable. I'm just, I don't know, I just didn't get that gene, you know? I'm not very good at that. <laughs> but I love these and I love the colour and I love the style. I love the whole, like, square toe. 
just think it's really cool. So yeah, I like these. And again, I think these would be quite cute in Ibiza, Ibiza evenings. Yeah. Okay, last thing in this bag are these clips because they're so handy just to like clip my hair back. Um, and now I've got shorter hair, I tend to wear it down a lot more. Um, I feel like it's already grown. I feel like that's one thing about having short hair, you're really hot on how it has, it's, if you have a blunt cut, you're really hot on how short you want it because otherwise it can just look a little bit too long. But yeah, these are really, really easy and they're a pound for eight. Is there eight there? There's six. Six. Good maths, Liv. Christ. So next up, I picked up this pair of sandals. These were really affordable and I just love things like this just to chuck on. I feel like they just go with so many outfits. So easy, so quick, just to chuck on and they look good. So yeah, I think these are like a dupe of the Birkenstocks. Is that right? I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, they're really comfortable actually. Another accessory I picked up was this bag. I love this. This kind of like style of bag is one of my favorites at the moment. I feel like everybody needs one for summer. They're just the perfect beach bag just to like hold with you, put your towels in. It's actually got beach stuff in it because I took it to the beach the other day. So it's got like my oil in, Noah's stuff always. Noah's stuff takes up everything. Um, but yeah, I literally love it. It was nine pound, I believe, nine pound. So good. You could probably get this in Zara or H&M for like 29.99. So yeah, I'm really impressed. I love the color. I love the whole vibe it's just yeah it's just me to a t at the moment so i love this so these are the jeans i picked up and these are literally like my new favorite jean they're in the style i think they were the mum style ones it doesn't actually say on the back but this wash of denim is my all-time favorite like this like light bluey but with the darker bits the vintage style, like I said, those shorts, the mum shorts, these are a little bit lighter. But I got these in a size 8 and they actually fit me really well, which I'm quite happy about, I'm not going to lie. And they just go down, these are the, these are my favourite style of jean. I don't like skinny jeans, I don't like straight leg jeans, these are just like my favourite style. I feel like they suit my body type the most and I love them so much. They are so flattering and obviously they weren't too, too expensive, but I can't really tell you the price because the labels come off and I can't remember off the top of my head um so yeah i love them they're honestly unreal okay and then finally really randomly well this isn't finally there's a couple of pieces i'm going to show you that i got for noah and i also got one other thing just when i was queuing up but um i just thought this would be really cute because if me and connor and stuff want to go to the beach i normally have to bring stuff for noah now um i just picked up this little cute cool bag and it was only four pounds so i just thought it'd be really cool just to pack a few bits in there some lunch for fr some fruit for noah and I just love the pattern. This pattern is a vibe. This on a swimsuit would look so cute. The last thing in that bag is some hand gel because Primark actually have some. And obviously with everything going on, things reopening, I still really want to be hot and cautious on the whole situation. So this just to go in my changing bag for Noah or my handbag or wherever I'm going out. Obviously you guys, I, you don't need me to tell you that we need to be washing our hands still that's why i got it and it was only a pound so yeah right quickly the last few bits that i got for noah first thing being this little coat i actually already have this for noah in a smaller size but because it's so cute we bought it in a bigger size so he can wear it during the winter so he's actually 10 months he's going to be a year in august so this is 12 to 18 months so it'll be taken through like autumn i don't really know how quickly it's going to grow because he's still in like he's almost 11 months and he's just in six to nine like He's always like one behind on clothing. That's not a problem to be honest, it's fine. Um, so yeah, it's just a really cute little jungle themed one. I just think it's so cute. Um, but it's not too thick and too heavy, which is great because sometimes coats can drown Noah. So yeah, I love this. I also picked him up this two set of long sleeve tops. Again, I got this in nine to 12 months. There's only one on it because he's actually wearing the other one today. It is a little bit big for him at the minute, but I don't mind throwing like oversized things on Noah to be honest and it's just going to go under a little romper anyway. But these were £2.30 for two which is just so good. Can't go wrong with Primark Basics for babies so yeah love that. And then finally the same with socks going missing for me. Socks going missing for Connor. Socks for Noah also go missing. Like I don't even know how. They must get like eaten in the washing machine or something. I'm convinced. Um, so I just picked up these ones because I just thought they're so cute. I love daddy. But yeah, these were only £1.50. So I always get a bit confused on his 
feet size so when they do it in months it's very handy so these are size 6 to 12 months which is great so that is everything i picked up in primark i just quickly want to talk over my experience so i went to the one in west key in southampton um i literally had to queue for about five minutes maximum it went really quickly obviously it always looks bigger than it is because everyone's like spaced apart but we went in we had a hand sanitizer and then it was fine it was do you know what it was probably one of the best primark shops i've done because it wasn't busy at all in there i didn't have to queue at the checkouts it was so quick it was so literally i smashed it out so quickly and i'm very impressed connor was very happy noah was a good boy so we smashed it really so yeah please don't be worried to go in they are they are obviously following all the precautions and everything like that and they have some really good stock at the moment so i highly recommend going down to your local primark if you have a local one or if you're like me and don't have a local one, you have to get a boat to get get to Primark. Bit of a mare, but um, worth it. So I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Thank you so much to Primark for sponsoring this video. I'm literally, like I said, in awe. I'm not going to say it again because I'm just, I am just shook about it. And I'm very grateful. I'm very, yeah, just always thankful and grateful for you guys. And thankful and grateful for the brands that want to work with me so yeah obviously i can't link things down below but you should just head into primark and head over to my instagram to see these pieces in action subscribe to my channel if you are new and i'll hopefully see you in my next video thanks for watching bye